Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Ye
Oh, okay, yeah, first paragraph. Because I, I know that would have been something that I would naturally bring up, especially if it's an account that, you know, old, the history of it is that it doesn't get used, which is why we would have, you know, tried to eliminate it. No, I understand but, that, but I'm yeah. just saying is that it, it doesn't sit in the water surplus account. Okay. And I don't think I would have made that statement. Does anybody have a... I have no history to go by, so... I mean, if you just want to draw a yeah. line through that for all intents and purposes and delete the comment, I would appreciate it. Which, which way are you doing? The last, first, the last... First paragraph. I got that. What are you doing? Bottom last line, sentence? That bottom line. Last sentence? Yeah, last line. Yeah. Because I would have said it would stay in the, in the budget <coughs> and get turned back at the end of the year <coughs> as part of free cash. Well, Bob, uh, being a water, the water department person, um, that $1,000... Um, for temporary help, yeah. if that doesn't get used at the end of the year, do you know what it ha what goes on with it? That will go, go into water surplus. It goes into water surplus. Yeah. Okay, so then you can put B bar instead. It went into water surplus. Okay, because as far as I know, that, as far as I know, mm -hmm. though, those monies are from raising appropriate. They're not from the water department because we don't transfer any of the money over to pay for the water department. It, we don't vote that money over to cover the temporary help, mm. nor do we vote over any of the money to run the water department. So why mm. would those funds roll into water surplus? That doesn't make any sense. That's the way it's always been done. That's all I can tell you. Okay, so um, I can amend that. Yeah, Is that okay to, to put, amend that, to that, Bob, you, that you, you made that Bobby statement that, that's fine. on there in the first, the first <clears throat> under the 19th? 19th May. <clears throat> There you go, right here. Let's see. And Instead of Fat's name, some. I can put your that sits in the water surplus account. And I don't know if it gets split between other accounts or not. It can be moved, but they use usually use the town meeting to move it. Okay, so it sits in the water surplus account and and just leave it at that? Yeah. It gets transferred out sometime for something else. Yeah. So is it sp it's split between other accounts? Within the water department? At a, at a town meeting, right. though. Yeah. Okay. Town meeting. Okay, yeah. so we didn't put town meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, splits, uh, sits in the water surplus account and at a town meeting. Then it will get split between the accounts. Can be moved <coughs> to yeah. other accounts. <coughs> okay. In the water department. Other accounts, in an account to accounts other than the water department? No, in the water department. Within the water department, right. okay. Other accounts. Okay, so if anybody wants to make that note on there, Just you know, I that. will I will advise um, my notes and... Um, then you just turn that good one in. Yeah. I'll fix it and then I'll we submit it. We can keep things, yeah. Yeah, within the water department. Discussion of printing a warrant. It's been determined that the printing can be most done most effectively at Staples. Mm -hmm. Does that mean <coughs> the lowest cost or the easiest to do? Or what does most effectively mean? The, the cost was nearly identical. It was between, I think the cost was between the lowest and second lowest bid, and they could turn it in two days. So it took the time constraint out. So mm -hmm. that's, that's pretty effective. Then. That is yeah. pretty effective. Yeah. Yeah, it worked out pretty well. Yeah, it did. My wife lost these. 
You could spend the night in the light and water in the aisle. May 22nd. You get wisdom. Bible wasn't here. Bible wasn't here that day. Oh, yeah, it's right there. Okay. You got that? Yeah. <laughs> Double checking. Okay. Another question. Same page. Mm -hmm. Second point from the bottom. Mm -hmm. It references a committee that might be dissolved. What committee? This committee. This committee. Oh. The advisory. Yeah. In favor of a finance committee. That's what Article 25 did. Okay. Passed. Oh. Oh, it's kind of dope. <laughs> okay. The question I've got is right on that page two. Mm -hmm. It says D. Wilkes and states and then it's stuff that I wasn't even here. Did you come in late? Did you I just come in late? late? Yeah, you were at that meeting. I thought I was, but you were. No, you were, you were at that. You meeting. might have come in late. That that yeah, was the awful meeting. Okay, don't ask me to remember, but I'm thinking to myself, I can't the awful one of these. <laughs> Okay, so cross up does it. I thought I was there. It's the 15th or the 22nd, Fabric. It's the 19th. 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 Did anybody talk to Gary Brunel? <clears throat> I called him. What did he say? He said he was coming in. Hmm. But today I, didn't, today I didn't talk to him, but I talked to him the last concert. He said he's going to be here, and I called him today to remind him. Did you talk to him today? No, I left two messages. But I didn't talk to him physically, no. Hmm. I just shot him a quick email. Good. <clears throat> oh, so you know his email address? I do. Marie Picor gave me the. It is. <laughs> well, I'm just wondering if that's another one that wasn't on here. That's all. <laughs> Note to self. <laughs> Look at the stuff first. How efficient. You're so efficient, you can't even keep up with it. I can't keep up with myself. <laughs> the thing is, you do really complete minutes. Yeah, very good. More than very clear. I see on most communities. Well, you know, it's and always I been my dream to be a novelist. <laughs> once <laughs> on one post. <laughs> so you just make it up, huh? Uh, no, no. Well, that's what a novelist I does. I didn't say it was fiction. There are historical novels. And that's still fiction. But you know Novels and fiction. I'm, you know what I'm saying here. Come on. No, I, I, never, I didn't take said. it that way. Well, anyway, Marie, I appreciate it. Okay. Because with my feeble mind, I can go back and see where I've been. I like it. <laughs> I see like where you've been. <laughs> we need a time machine. That would be great. Anybody want to make a motion on the minutes? 
Are we all done reading? Is everybody done? I'll make a motion to that we accept the minutes as correct. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 opposed? So vote. Yeah, we started with saying it was. Yeah, he wasn't here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sue, so were you able to get a new uh, form made up for the transfers? No. You'd be able I will. To, huh? I will. Okay. Um, I was thinking next time we do a round of transfers, we should make a recommendation that the people show up here to before the board and explain to us what they are doing why they're doing it, bring documentation rather than just us getting jammed up with a whole bunch of transfers and trying to decipher what's on each one. I'll make a motion to that. <coughs> I think we have to be careful though because if we make a motion that will only approve the transfers if they show up, we could potentially put ourselves in a bind How so? for the end of year processing. <coughs> because if they don't show up, we'll still have to deal with them. Well, then they have to give us the transfers in advance, not like they did last time, even as two days. But they didn't do that. The accountant. The accountant. So, so it had that has nothing to do with the department heads. That's the accountant. I think, I think the pro I think I think the first step is fixing the process, which would be setting clear standards and expectations about what the supporting documentation is that needs to be submitted with the transfers. I, I think that will cure a lot of it because then you have the the paper if they would do that, it. yes, if they would do well, that. There, there was, I there's don't no think if. that there's resistance there. Yeah. It's just we're getting those things too last minute to even question them. Right. So, so that's I, still, where I still think they should come in and, exp you know, that they want to, if they well, want to go I, above I and beyond should, their budget, they think they should explain it to us better. I think that we should reserve <laughs> the option to, to receive them in a timely fashion so that we can make those inquiries. Well, that's a whole nother. But topic. that would be that right. would be part of the form. In this case, it wasn't the department heads who were dragging their feet. No, 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 no. But we, but when we did the transfers, if you remember, we had a lot of trouble deciphering why the transfers, right. and, and we couldn't read half of them. Right, and part of that's our <coughs> fault. So that's my argument right, right. there. I, I think let's let's do a new form and see. Okay. What that brings us. What that brings us, and then we'll see where to go from there. But I think that we have to. Um, change our fiscal policy so that we're not putting that bind again. And, and I think that also that also circles back around to the overall inadequacies of the procedural processes and controls between the various departments and the treasurer and oh, the, the whole thing right now. Yeah. Um, just as a quick FYI, I, I had somebody, a townsperson approach me that was the chairperson of the committee that put financial controls in place for the town, for the uh, school committee, for school district, for Ashburnham, Westminster, when they had uh, a, a significant amount of money missing in, in their school system to help put together a policy and procedure book for the town of Brookfield. Um, so if we want that resource, there's somebody who has gone through that whole process before I think Steve already has to. a policy book been given to her well, by somebody that has gone through it. At the last <clears throat> select board meeting, he said basically, I have it, and that he was going to take care of it. That was Wednesday morning. Yeah. yeah. And, and he does. I haven't seen it. He does have it. Okay. Okay, but it, this <clears throat> is and bigger. It, and it was given to him by somebody who is. So we need to uh, see that then. And it's been given to him by somebody that uh, has gone through this whole thing. I'm not stopping the town there. Okay. So what's this, what you're talking about has right. already been done. Well, I think it would be very good to have two documents that we could compare, look and see, right. decide what works out best for the town. I I'm very strongly one person trying to trying to decide this. I agree. Well, you know, because we are still waiting. Because for the, the, the changes that were going to be into, you know, that we were told by the chair of the Board of Selectmen that he personally was going to make sure we're done from the Department of Revenue, Division of, Land, of Local Services recommendations when in his first year of Selectmen. Now he's in his second term 
and none of those have been Is that in the auditor's report? This is on the, the finance audit report that right. we had done by the Division of Local <coughs> Services, and he met with us and he said he personally would take care of having those things changed, and not one of those changes has been implemented. Now, I, are these reports coming to this board? Or we have they, that are they, Or are they just no, have, we have have that got it on this board? Yes. Well, it's yeah. I, I think we actually handed it out sometime. Yeah. Remember when we remember when I first got on the board? I said we need to have an audit. Right. And, and we then did. and no. No, it had already been done. <laughs> it had already it had been, been done. done. Right. But it had been placed in a draw, so we asked that it be taken out of the draw, and that the recommendations be looked at and implemented. And Mr. Comtois said that he personally was handling this with Jen Gabrowski and we have received no report and nothing no has feedback. happened but what i'm asking is why don't we request we like, don't like we to. got it's it all, like, like we you, like we used to do and here we go back again when the auditors got through with their report right. every member of the advisory board got a copy i think we had copies at one of the meetings barbara because we had not the, the audit report was not released to the town from the last audit that was done. I was going to say, I don't have that copy. But what I'm talking about is an independent audit that was done by the Division of Local Services right. on the town. Right. In, now it's four years ago, and not one of those recommendations has been acted upon. Is that the 2011? Yes. Was it? Yeah. 2011. And I, I made copies of it again and brought it to this committee and brought it you to the select board. You may have been that you missed. I was going to say because I don't have a copy of that. Okay, I, I remember distinctly part. hearing, I personally will handle this. Okay, so why don't you, you can get a copy of the same, why don't you get a copy and we'll get, we'll get a copy Perfect. from the selectman and compare them. And see what, we have two documents well, and see well, what's well, so he, he wasn't offering up just the, the, the document itself. What he was offering was to, to basically head up a committee to put to take other documents like well, what let's see what he has. Let's see. let's see what he has, and we'll, I'll get a copy. We'll bring it here, and you get a copy. Okay, all right. And then we'll have two to choose from. Well, it's not. But it's, that's a, it's what a bigger saying. process than that. Oh, I, I know. I know it is, but we got to start somewhere. What I think that we should do is actually have a committee, rather than just leaving it in the hands of the the, the select board, right. because. We need to look mm -hmm. at the financial processes in this town. There need to be regulations and policies and procedures Check and balances. Right. And, it, and it needs to be a small group. And they need group. to be enforced. Yeah. It needs to be a small group. That's a tall order. <laughs> well. well <clears throat> it needs to be done, though. But. Right. Because currently, the, the way that it's been flowing is, is nothing's really been getting communicated. You know, they, they, they still haven't even really pulled in the department heads to say, hey, we need to watch this. You know, what are your recommendations? They may have some ideas of the best ways to get controls in place between their turnover and what paperwork they'd like to see for it to be turned back because enforcement is a lot better when, the, when people help write the rules because they know what they're going to get held accountable to. Yeah. You know, if it's one person throwing a manual down and saying, we're going to follow this, you're going to be lucky if anybody even opens it up and reads it. I think that there is a certain amount of resistance to any change of the current po policies and that that has to be broken through. Yes. That's oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So input, that input is fine, mm -hmm. but I mean, the, the hen house has, you know, the, the horse has already left the barn. Right. The hen house has already been raided. Mm -hmm. the, the department heads who were responsible for this, mm -hmm. nothing was done. Mm -hmm. Okay, what, could, well, what can be done? If people <coughs> are not compliant in terms of reporting, what can be done? So that, well, it's hard to say that the, That's a tough it's one. hard to say that the That's department a different heads, thing. and it's, it's also it's hard to say that necessarily it, the department it, it, heads. It, yeah, it. they weren't the ones who were necessarily not following the procedures. Exactly. Okay. So, and that because the, no proce the procedure, there was no procedure in place. I'll give you a for instance. Say, let's use the water department since Bobby's here. Okay, water department gets their cash in, they give it to whom? Well, the person who had been doing the deposits was the municipal clerk. Okay, normally it would go to the treasurer. They, they record down what those, what that it's referred to as a turnover. Okay. 
Now, what wasn't occurring, step one that was bad about our policy or lack thereof, okay, was that the department heads weren't getting a copy back of what they had just turned over to. They should have had it kept a copy themselves. They probably should you have. To check okay. and balance. But, but even they if they did keep a copy Somebody of what they had turned to. over, they never got a copy, copy of, of the what the actual deposit slip. was. Okay, so one of the problems was that they might have a copy of the turnover, but they never got a copy of the deposit slip associated with that turnover. Okay, and it was not required by any of the policies within this town because we really didn't have any. So they, they can't check and see what was going on then. Exactly. So, so the department heads had no visibility past the treasurer's mm -hmm. office or the municipal clerk into what was going on with their money. And unless I'm mistaken, that's in the Division of Local Services It is. Report. It is. Yeah. So that's well, been that's sitting in a draw since 2011. Right. Okay, so you went, went and so we're not going to talk about let's Let's make a recommendation on... They're on the bench. They have... Oh, okay. on, on something, Treasure so we can give it to this yeah. so we can make a change. I recommend that we, there be a small working committee up to develop fiscal policies and regulations in this town. Okay. And that we do not stay local and inbred, but that we reach out to other communities who have had these challenges yeah. and who have eliminated them. Well, there's supposed to be check and balances between the treasurer and the accountant. And the departments, yeah. department head too. That's not so, happening either. So, Did you get that? How can anybody balance this? Did you understand that motion? I didn't hear a motion. Well. And we're making a recommendation. Right, we're going to make a motion. Is one thing yeah, right we're going to make the motion after, but so to get the whole recommendation. Recommendation for a small committee to small make working a committee small to develop working. fiscal policies and regulations to that will reach out to other communities. And regulations. For best practices. Best practices. What's worked? For basically, yeah. what's worked? Yeah. Community. When I talked to DLS, apparently there are six other communities that have had this kind of challenge this year. Okay. Yeah. This Recommendation out of the six, four of them are going to a no cash policy. And the other two are considering it. I don't know how do you do that? Easily. You gotta so, be careful. You don't mm -hmm. why? Okay, so this so the Selectman Wednesday vote voted well they voted uh, two weeks ago to have no cash policy starting October first. So what do you all how do you all feel about that? I, I, I got I got a thing from the feds that said you can't do it, and we got a thing from Copeland Page Copeland Page that says we can do it, and the state says we can do it. Yeah. Well, aren't state and federal law well, separate anyway? I mean, yeah, but yeah, but no. generally the fed supersedes. Overrides. To proceed right. the state. Yeah, if, there's no. a, if there is a conflict, Fed always wins. It's like a, we can't enact a, no, a local law that's in conflict with the. Uh, Everyone's so aware that we had money stolen. That there's an investigation right. into that. Yep. No, not everybody is. Okay. Well, that's what I'm saying now to, to this point. Yeah. I'm talking about to this point. I heard it implied, but didn't okay. know it. Okay. okay. Yeah. So the select board has recently. Um, opted to go to a no cash to a cash no cash no cash policy, policy starting October first, I believe, mm -hmm. and they're getting resistance. But that's going to be discussed this coming Tuesday, I believe, at the selectmen's meeting. How does this board feel about no cash? I never use cash anyway, so. Well, I'm just I'm, as I'm asking everyone. <coughs> I just when, know when I when I was a manager. In my opinion, they have to it accept was, cash. You That's the American bell. Okay. You gotta be careful. Now we sent the we sent them a letter from the water board saying that we were we were gonna accept cash. Why? So I don't know what's gonna happen. No no no, me. but uh, I'm just curious, why why the insistence on using cash? Or why why not checks or vouchers, well, money orders? It would orders. have to be money orders. What, what, what people what say they didn't up? have checking well, accounts. Somebody's been bankruptcy. They, they don't have, they can't have a checking account probably. Well you can get a money order. Yeah. And and that's actually, that's caught, it's gonna cost them money. Oh well fifty cents. But it will protect yeah. them Bob too. They'll have a receipt. Then they have then they have then they have not just the receipt they receive from the person, but they also have a copy of it. Through, so, the, through the money order company. I've done it before. So it's, it's sent in for their meeting anyway, so how we felt.
So yeah, that's how we go. So but I mean, as far as operating the water yeah, department, I, why would taking no cash affect its operation? I meant to bring it. I got a copy of it. Why they what? Why would taking yeah, not, not taking cash affect the the operation of the water department? The well, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's law that you have to accept cash. Huh? They, they, they don't. Uh, the state they don't. says no. Well, the state, no. The state, state says yes. The state said no. The state is going to no cash policy on the truck. Yes. Well, let's and go the, the let's go to government the and H say yes. yes. Well, that was In your opinion. That, we felt that, we that it's illegal? Cash. Huh? That it's illegal? I don't know what's illegal. For sure. No, no, but I'm saying you're saying you have a policy. I'm asking why you have we that We sent policy. a letter right. from the water department that we want to accept cash. Okay, why? Because we all felt that cash is uh, <clears throat> the American dollars, how you pay your bills. I mean, but they got, they, got money, they got money stolen from their department as well, Bob. I know. So I mean, I mean what well, you know what? That this is an issue for the selectmen yeah. and Copeman and Page yeah. to go over. This is, this I was just okay. curious. Yeah, why. I'm just, I'm just trying to see how the board felt. But, yeah, well, Copeman and Page. There's no say way I'm going to walk into an office here and say, "Here's, the there's three hundred and twelve dollars," and where's my proof? That I, I would, I, well, I would no, get it. I would get a receipt. I would get a receipt. What was happening at the transfer station all the time for years? Yeah. It's, well, and when they stopped accepting and cash at the transfer and station, they were, yeah, their exactly. revenues went up. Exactly. <laughs> they, now they won't take cash there for that reason. I mean, I always pay a check. I don't. I don't even want to take that. Check. That's right. That's right. I, th I think it's a tempest in a teapot, but we'll see. And I think if you're, a, I just wonder why people insist on taking cash. I wonder why they insist on having cash around. I personally don't like to have any cash in my office. None. Zero. It, makes, it just makes more work. It's temptation. To well, it's not even temptation. So I don't want to keep track of it. you got to keep track of it. It's more yeah. work. Yeah. Plus it's temptation. I, well, as we've seen. As we've seen. And in the immortal words of one of my old employers, the people who work the hardest, your best employees, are the ones who feel the most justified in taking. An adage in the hospitality business. They'll, you know, if they're always there for you, they feel justified in taking ten dollars or twenty dollars. So, uh, we got a motion on the floor here. Well, we're going to have a motion. What Sue just said, to the recommendation to the selectmen. So, to recommend to selectmen. I say so moved. Yep, so moved. I'll second. All that. in favor? Anyone opposed? In favor of. In favor of making a recommendation to yeah, the selectmen yeah. for a small committee to make up financial policies and regulations which would reach out to other communities to find best practices. What mm -hmm. the other communities are doing. Mm -hmm. and it's not just, I mean, I don't think we need to learn. We've got, we've got a couple of roadmaps already. We have audits. We have, just, we're not reinventing the wheel here. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 You in favor of that, Barbara? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, next on the list, which I'm not in favor of, they want a request for transfer of the reserve fund, and this is what I want to reverse the vote that we took. We uh, agreed to take money out of the reserve fund to fund the treasurer. I think we did that. I don't think we did that in the right manner. I don't think we should, uh, I think we should reverse that. Taking money to pay the treasurer to work eight hours more a week, it's not an emergency. And I don't think we should, I think we should reverse that. If you people want to do that, it should not come out of the reserve fund. And tonight. And who's this to pay? The treasurer. Treasurer. Yeah. Pay oh, next wait, I, I have a question. Yeah. Do you mean by that? You don't think it's necessary for the treasurer to work the additional eight hours? No. No. No, no. I'm in favor of her working more eight hours. Then, but the money to come from a different place. That's correct. Not right. the reserve fund. So, and, and I think the, the key here is that the eight hours is not going to exhaust that fund prior to the fall town meeting. Correct. correct. We can get on the back end, right? Well, yep. Can I say that 
from the time that that request was made to take the money out of the reserve fund to now, I mean, there is an open position in the town hall right now, our right. municipal clerk, so they do have available payroll monies, monies right. that they can tap into. They shouldn't take it out of the reserve fund anyway. Yeah. No, it's only, f they said, I talked to, talked to the accountant, she said it's fine and you can do that, but only on emergencies. And that's what well, this is not an emergency to increase her hours. And the townspeople right. voted for her budget, and now we're going to just go, you know, we're going to go, go over it and and give her more hours out of the reserve fund. And I don't think we should do it. So, in other words, people want to use the reserve fund as a slush fund, right? And I don't think it's. I don't think we should be doing it. I don't. I don't think we can do it legally. And, and they didn't sign anything here on the reserve fund. They just gave me something which, from their minutes on when they voted this as a selectman, and they want us to still sign this, and no one signed this at all. They haven't, uh, no, one, no one signed this at all, so. Yeah, so I think, I, I, I would support um, voting to rescind our vote of what date was it in July? Mm -hmm. Was our last meeting? 10th. Okay. I'll make a motion to rescind our vote of the 10th of July uh, to pay those funds out in the reserve fund. Second. Uh, no, no, absolutely you can't, not. You can't, you, can't, you can't second it because you weren't a member. You weren't, you weren't a member. Oh, okay. I'll second it. So, on July last meeting? So, so what do you mean? you signed in? No, no, no. You're voting. Did we vote in, in July? Yeah. Yeah, I was oh, voting okay. in July. Yeah. Then you could Were you here that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, he was there at that meeting. I keep yeah. thinking we did that. Thank you. I'm sorry about that, Harry. Okay, so what, you, Beth? What are you saying now? So I'm, I'm, I'm making a motion for us to rescind, rescind our vote of the 10th of July, authorizing um, the funds for covering the extra eight hours of the treasurer to per be per week, yeah, uh, to be pulled from the, uh, and it was for a period of 90 days to be pulled from the reserve fund. Mm -hmm. And we still have yet to receive any of the documentation regarding what those hours were going to be used on. And when I went in to ask for that documentation yep. two weeks ago, I was told that because they were now shorthanded and had been busy with the auditors, there was no way she was getting to doing any type of report for us regarding what those hours would be spent on. So she needs more hours to report on the more hours? She needs more hours to report on the more hours. <clears throat> Anyone in favor? Anyone opposed? Probably you seconded it. No, well, I, I, I Harry did. Oh, Harry did. Okay. I'm in favor. I'm in favor. Call the vote. I'm in favor. We're sending it. We're sending it, right. Mm -hmm. But not that, but to still let her work, you know, let her work. It's up to selectmen. They've got yeah. a budget to pull those funds from. Right. Exactly. Okay. All in favor. Aye. 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 That's a vote. Mm -hmm. Anybody want to see what they <coughs> passed Yeah, they do want to see. Who gave that to you? It was in the... Uh, yeah. Oh, it came, it came from uh, administrative assistant. <coughs> <laughs> so there was no time to do a report because of the, the audit. audit. Because of the audit. And that now that she was having to do 100% of the treasurer's job, she didn't have time to even figure out what she needed to do because she had lost 40 hours that had been doing work in her office when they lost the municipal clerk. Yep. I mean, frankly, at this point, if they have somebody, even though the municipal clerk has paid a lower salary rate, I mean, until she's replaced, the treasurer could go to 40 hours. That's up to the board of selectmen. They have the budget to do that. Of course, she does have a job in another town, so she might not want to work a full 40 hours, but... Um, well, I think that those are all personnel policies, and let's see what the selectmen do with that. Exactly. 
But as far as that. the duties of the treasurer, one of the duties of the treasurer is to report to this committee yeah. by Mass General Law. It is important a part of her job as anything else. And that is enforced how? It normally would be enforced by the executive branch. Which would be the Board of Selectmen. Mm. Who haven't actually enforced the fact they're supposed to get a monthly report from the treasurer's office for upwards of a couple of years now. Okay. Now the town hall is now open five days. So when we just the administrative assistant is now gonna work forty hours. As she was getting paid 40 hours before, but working from home or whatever, the 30, 32. So now the person is going to be working in the town hall um, the 40 hours. That's the, it's a clerk, right? Administrative assistant. Because the last six, seven years, they've been only working actual in the town hall 30, 20, 28 to 32. Which, you know, there was never any documentation of what they were doing outside of the town hall. So, how you all feel about other people working out of the town hall? Working extra hours out? Those are personnel matters. I know it's a personnel matter, but it's also a financial because we're paying mm -hmm. these people to be doing it outside of town well, hall, so that's why I'm asking. Their jobs have to be evaluated by their supervisors. Okay. If, if the job is being done, I don't care where they come in. Exactly. Okay. As long as, right. if they're charged to do this, if they come in with this, I don't care. As long as it's getting done. If it's getting done. And that's where the gray area is. Is it getting done? It's not getting done. Well, the other, my, the I don't other. agree for the plain simple reason that when we were hiring one of our treasurers, and we did get in the mess then too, our books have not been reconciled for a good long time. And it is the job of this board to oversee the finances of this town and how they're spent and where, mm -hmm. where our money goes and we're all about it. Mm -hmm. And I do know that our books don't get reconciled on a basis that they should be. And the people that are working at home, they work independent of each other. And they may be getting their work done, which I don't, I, I personally have seen they're not. They're not getting it done. Then they also are not working with each other. You see what I, I mean? And, the, and I think the, 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 treasurer, is the, the treasurer and the auditor, I mean, uh, not the auditor, but the accountant, no. they're not even the town hall at the same time, half the time. But isn't that part, according to the accountant, they are not supposed to be in one another. The, the job of the accountant is to double check the treasurer. Right. So they so should not, not be in working. the same office. Same office, but, but they, they can be in the in same the building. same building. There is no, nobody working in conjunction with anybody else here. But and many times our books have gone over and over and over without being reconciled. <coughs> and if Betty isn't doing her work, <coughs> and it's piling up and piling up and piling up, and Sandy's over here not checking that it's not getting checked. <coughs> not that it gets checked. But, the, but, but I but don't think the issue is... It's not the issue. Where it's getting... It, the the it's issue is, is it's not getting done. The, the issue is not where is it work happening, it's whether or not it's getting done. Yeah, and frankly, even if, if the person is in the town hall, they can not work in the town it's hall just more as well people, as they can not But more people are around, around. But, but what you're describing right but now says only, that it doesn't. It, it only matters if there's a town, if there's a town administrator and somebody who's actually supervising. Who said? Okay, so so that only matters if there's somebody who is who is in a, a position to act. I don't. I don't think. I don't think we should be saying, "Oh, fine, work from home." We don't have a town administrator. So no, we have to do the best we can without one. So we have to do the best we don't have one in here. But but what we're saying is that is the fact that is that. It doesn't matter whether they're sitting in a chair in town hall or sitting in a chair at home. They're not going <coughs> to get the work done either place because they're nobody's watching. They're going to have to get it done. Well, we got to start somewhere. Okay. They're not now. But we got to start somewhere. They're not now. They are not getting it done. But they're working from home. A, a lot of the time, they're working from home. 
they're either on a sick day or they're on a vacation day or well, that's not working. On, that's not or, no, no, working. No, no, no. But I mean, they're not ever in this town hall. Right. And that that is an issue when you do want to have communications yeah. with them. But you know, my, my, it's entirely a personnel issue. Well, my other problem with taking issue. work home is: are they taking home computers with sensitive information? That's absolutely okay. That's that yeah. that, that me that is more than we have brought up. They are though. They are doing that's that's, that is, that's that is absolutely an issue. Yeah. That so, but I think that should definitely that would definitely be part of these financial policies, regulations, recommendations. That would certainly be part of it because, I mean, I work from home, I, but I work on a secure network. Is this town going to pay for a secure network, or is it available through Tim Task or with some exactly. of the improvements that they just did? But <coughs> that kind of information should not be leaving on a laptop, sitting on a desktop that somebody can just. Grab it. But, it the house and steal. Well, but it is though yeah. for a pumper, but that's what's happening. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, yeah, that's what's happening. Yeah. So certainly that would be a recommendation that would come out of an overall policy to to look at it and see. But it, the simple fact of the matter is, no town manager or not, there's no supervision. Right. There is, you know, work is not being accomplished. Well, we don't have right now. We do not have a town administrator or a town right. manager. So, so we then, do so the then best the, we can. So then the board of selectmen really need to actually get a reporting and accountability system in place with the accountant and the treasurer's office. And they request reports, but I don't know that they even defined right. what the reports, reports they're getting. They should get. Okay. Um, they should be finding out has the revenue been booked up to current date. They should be finding out. You know, had you know, have all of the bank deposits been reconciled against the statements that have come back and against the turnover sheets? Okay, if somebody had been reconciled, if somebody had been recon either. if somebody had been reconciling <clears throat> turnover sheets to deposit slips when they came back every day, we wouldn't be in the position that we're in right now. Okay, if every single turnover sheet had the account to which that deposit should be going, okay, we wouldn't be in the mess that we're in right now. But okay. on the other hand, their work wasn't done. We're four months behind on cash re reconciliations, and we're behind on other stuff. So you can't tell me they couldn't have picked some of this up. This vast well, I don't understand why they didn't pick up some of it way back they, in the process of doing the one-year reconciliation. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so and that's because things aren't because the work is not being done. And well, and that's why there's an investigation. I that understand that. Well, we need to be so when we, we get beyond that we right, better have something in place right but so so the the first thing is that in 20 hours they they pro, the, it's a board of selectmen decision but they do need to authorize the treasurer to work more but they have the budget with the municipal municipal clerk pay mm -hmm. in order to cover that okay but then the second thing is is what you know it, if we can't get the plan from the treasurer because she doesn't have time to report then we need to get a plan from the Board of Selectmen of about what she's, doing. Of what she's going to be doing right. and how she's going to get the four months caught up that you're referencing and what timeline they're expecting it to get done. Or if she's unable to develop that plan because she's either not familiar, as far as I know, this woman has never been a treasurer. Correct. So she might be in over her head. Then then we have to reach out to another community and get, her and get it settled because for years, we have not had a. And that's what I'm and, trying to and, reach, reach for okay, some and, kind and of recommendation, so we can get something okay, moving. Okay. Well, here's a here's a recommendation. Since we're not paying our auditor for the for the audit that they did provide us last year, okay, let's get another auditor in to audit the books and audit the auditor, okay? Because bottom line is, if they if they've been our auditor and done a great job for us all these years, okay and this happened, we need somebody else to check our books, okay? But they, from what I gathered, this started after the 013 fiscal year. It doesn't matter. Doesn't How long matter. have we had this audit? Right. Okay. Do you know, Barbara? I heard and the 16 state is years. The, one that, the state auditor is the one that picked And up. over and over and over, a recommendation has come through in their audit report that we need to reconcile our books between our treasurer and our bank. And it 
has so not I, happened. So I think if, if, if and it's always say they're overloaded and they can't get the work done. Okay, so then we bring somebody in to do it once as an outside agency mm -hmm. to actually, you know what? If we think that the auditor is is okay, they've done the job. This was something that was post the last audit. Fine, let's use the sixteen thousand dollars that we're not paying them because they didn't issue a report for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, That's another topic. It's <laughs> another topic. Okay. Um, then let's take that money mm -hmm. and allocate it to reconciling, really reconciling the books. Because there's going to be a whole process. Because there's going to do this. There's gonna be a whole process. And, and my understanding is this happened in the, in the water department a number of years ago, previously, where they had some, some cash go missing. Um, or some deposits got lost or something along those lines. And, you know, people paid their bills with cash. And in essence, we didn't necessarily have record of it and it was still shown as an open account. There may be some instances where we're going to have to eat some crow as a town and say, if you have your receipt, we're going to go ahead and forgive your debt. Okay? I don't know if we know if we're at that point yet or not. So, but it would be good to bring somebody in to really audit the books and get caught up on the four months of cash reconciliation. You know, let's have somebody come in and do that, spend some of the money that we're not going to give to the auditors for last year to go ahead and actually reconcile our books. But people got to start doing their job in the town hall. Right, but let's get them, let's get yeah. them on up. So let's get it caught Both. up. Okay, you got to get it what, caught this up. This is what we heard when the, when the last secretary, uh, the last treasurer was gone because people didn't like her or for whatever reason. Then she was gone, the new one came in, and she was gonna get us on a new steady, even keel. Mm -hmm. And we are four months down? Yeah, we're four how months behind her. Right? Four months, cash. five months, to, how long has she been in the position? Uh, since- uh, Four months, going on five, right? No. Because they just approved no. her third, th they just approved her 90 days about a month ago. Two. Two months, it she's two been five months. Yeah, going on five. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so five months later, we're oh, gosh, five months behind. No, I don't no, think so. No, it has to be more than that because she was in, she came in in time that they said they were going to have the reconciliation done going by December five. 1st. So she started in November. That's nine months. No, no, no. No, she did not. No, she did not start then. She did. But it doesn't matter anyway. But no, the fact because is, when we were do, no, when we were doing the budget, <coughs> well, whenever we were doing the budget, I remember saying that eligible for a 3% increase because she was she was still a, a probationary right and they just right but I think if you I think if you go back and check ago. out her appointment though it's it's much farther back than that well but, so. but anyway but she's four months behind at least five months behind so let's get somebody in get an agency in all right so let's make up. a recommendation back. so I'm going to make a motion selectmen. I'm going to make a motion that we recommend to the selectmen that they utilize some of the funds that were encumbered for the uh, payment of the 2012 audit that we, which is not forthcoming, to use that to engage 2012 the, audit. Yeah, mm -hmm. 2012 audit. Okay, that we use those. We were asking for last year. year. Yeah, use use those funds that were encumbered in order to uh, engage an accounting firm to assist in uh, bringing our our cash reconciliation between the treasurer and the accountants off audit offices up to date. Wow, that's a mouthful. Because the That's more than a mouthful, Beth. <laughs> <laughs> you get all that, Marie? You want I'm working on it. She'll, she'll, she'll repeat it again. Okay. 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 <laughs> Motion to recommend to the board to recommend to use money from the 2002 audit, 2012. Which was, 2012 audit, which was encumbered, to hire an outside entity, entity yeah. to perform the, the four months of remedial cash reconciliation that we're behind so far this year Form. Form to bring cat to bring cash, cash resili con re reconciliation. To reconciliation up to date yeah up to date yeah. to bring cash reconciliation, bring <laughs> reconciliation cash. up to date reconciliation because we keep being focused on this up to date do has the town done any who's doing our investing nobody right now I, I think she's inundated right now I don't think she yeah, everything's just sitting wherever it was left by the treasurer. And so was the, I, and I also, I talked to her about the, what do you call it, the de de uh, deeds, mm -hmm. uh, foreclosures on houses. The that's tax all, title. Tax title, that's all behind too. That's all on mm -hmm. hold right now. So we're behind in tax title. We have no investment policy. We have no cash re uh, reconciliation. Right. Okay. <clears throat> 
Oh. And then we had a bum click, yeah, on top of it all. It's no wonder we had a bum click. Oh, I don't. I wouldn't go there, Sue. But it seriously, if you put and people in positions thing. She, who she, do not know how to do their job, and you allow somebody else to do their job, and nobody checks on their job, it is no wonder. That well, it's no wonder if she happen. did what she did because she knew what was going on. This is a recurrent problem in the water department that the water department had money stolen before. It was probably six, seven years Not ago. Not that I know. <clears throat> but we also had a big problem in our town way back with, when we had a town treasurer and tax collector combined. It was a huge problem. Yeah, back with, then, there was. They were okay. huge. So, and, and here we are again. And yet, when we ask for financial policies and regulations, we're told no. We don't need them. We have Mass General Law. Yeah, well, that's going to change. We have a policy for uh, depositing in cash. I was told. Remember, Bob? I we was had the, we told. We had the trouble with the landfill. Yeah, and the, and, and they put in a policy we right then and there the that it had to be in the hall at a certain time or in the deposit at the bank down but, here at a certain time. Right, but that's the problem. The, the clerk took the bag of money. <laughs> it's how you, that's they, why it they, goes back to no cash. Allegedly, she took the Allegedly, we're not mentioning any names. Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. Yeah. It was someone else on the camera, right? Okay. Okay, so it was, motion was made by Beth. Who's going to second? I, I think I can make up. I'll second that. Read, read that back when you get done doing that, uh, writing that movie, please. Motion to recommend to the Board of Selectmen to use money from the 2012 audit, which has been encumbered, to hire out, an outside entity to bring cash reconciliation up to date. Okay. Okay. Sue seconded. All in favor? Anyone Aye. opposed? Aye. Aye. Who can write these recommendations up? And we'll give them physically to the selectmen too. Would you want that typed out? Yeah, just... each one, each each recommendation that we did tonight. Okay, let's see. Instead of we're just gonna keep instead of just I mean talking about it, I wanna really make sure we actually are doing something. Okay. Motion to accept. They also, she's also going to be doing more work now because they have to go back and find out what checks were taken as well. So they Correct. Don't fall. So that's going to take time. Correct. And she don't have a clerk either. Exactly. So, so, so I mean, you really need somebody who's a CPA to do that. You Honestly, do. it's so bad that, that really to get it right, you need somebody who is trained in doing that type of accounting in order to do it. Um, and, and that's the whole reason to bring in an outside provider. Now, I do to have, help out. Yeah, I, I do have one um, somewhat related topic. Hopefully, you'll, you'll at least entertain it. Um, there was some concern expressed to me that the Board of Selectmen were going to force the tax collector, who I believe has already at least ordered via Staples uh, and hasn't gotten billed <coughs> for it yet, a, a Dropbox safe. Okay, mm -hmm. to attach to the floor. They put, yeah, hall. Wednesday they, they discussed that. Yeah, okay. she's got one coming in. She's got one coming in. Yeah. Now Which she is doesn't. Good. She doesn't get a huge expense budget, and her expense budget is very specifically programmed for all the mailing and all the postage mm -hmm. that has to go with the tax mm -hmm. bills and the envelopes and we all the rest got, of that yeah, stuff. Yeah. Okay. So, to me, isn't a piece of equipment like that a town hall improvement, and couldn't that be paid out of different funds than the tax sure. collector expense? I would say it was town hall improvement. Yeah. yeah. I don't I don't have a problem. Yeah. yeah. Why, so, why, so what makes you think it's coming out of her budget? She don't because have any she, she, don't she was have told by the selectman the only place it was coming out of was her if she wanted to get a safe that was coming out of her budget. <laughs> That's not but, her safe. Well it's not, it's the town it's, safe. It's, yeah. It's well right. Said. Yeah. Right. So um, She's just well. They, we increased the budget by what three hundred dollars. Yeah, but postage. that was because of postage right. and envelopes and stuff. It certainly wasn't enough. She don't have well, we put ten thousand dollars. You're talking about a three hundred dollar. Yeah, it she don't have enough. She, she don't have it in any budget. So lockdown and yeah. 
Maybe not a little one like this. Anyway, doesn't anyway. matter. So, so, yeah, I, so I take it out of the town hall improvements. Yeah. We boosted we that, that up as, as well. A, we we boosted that, that as, a, as a recommendation yes. as well. Mm -hmm. So I'll make a motion to recommend that, that any security improvements made to the tax collector area be funded out of um, or any other town department hall. Yeah, town I was town just going to say, well, yeah. any other. Any, okay, any, 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 security any, security. any security improvements should come out of town hall mm -hmm. account. Thank you for the correction. Mm -hmm. hmm. okay. Anybody want a second that? Yeah. Yes. Here we second it. All, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? I say aye too. I think they should look into a swipe system for entering the hall anyway. They, they should. They work, you mean for the doors? Mm -hmm. They're working mm -hmm. on it. But they did discuss Wednesday they didn't want they did not want to change the locks on the all the offices in here. And I think they should change all the locks. When I think when someone leaves this town hall, oh yeah. There's not a there's no policy right now. And I asked when the locks would change and I got an answer of thirty years ago. The interior locks? These locks right here, yeah. And how many employees have we have we how many town treasurers have gone? How many administrative assistants has gone? I mean, it doesn't matter who they are. I'm just saying it's just a policy that it's, mm -hmm. yes, it should be done. Well, I, having been the manager of a unit, it didn't make any difference if any time there was a changeover with somebody who had access to the building, you changed the locks. And periodically, whether anybody left or not, you changed you the locks. Yeah. Right. Right. A lot of places have keypads. They change the. They just change the code. That's what I said. That's what they're trying to. That's it, what. It should either be a keypad or a swipe system. That up. If it's a swipe who system that that's Nick. based on ID, D, yeah. then you can record who's in and out and when they're in and out. Right, when they leave and come in. So he recommends a keypad. Yeah, he's he's already discussed that at the selectmen. Does anyone want to make a recommendation on the locks? I know it's. Financial, it is and it isn't. But yes, let's yes. I recommend that um, all locks, all internal locks of the, in this building be changed, and to the office system. Yeah. Yes, <clears throat> and that hereafter, whenever an office employee leaves our employment, the locks are changed again. All so locks. All locks, not just internal. Well, if they have external. Well, if they have keys yeah. only to a certain office, then that office should be changed. You know, if they you know if they don't have keys to the water department, then they don't need to change those locks. Right. Whatever their specific department, whatever their you know whatever their whatever they had access to. Yeah. When an employee leaves, well, if they go to the oh, key right. access system or the swipe system, yeah, it's a moot point. Right. But yeah, no, they're, because they're yeah. only doing that in the front door. They're not going to do that on office doors. And the motion would. Suppo that, that's what's being recommended. Suppose it doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. At least we're on record for recommending things. Well, that's what we're supposed to do, right? Okay. So it'd be changed when an employee leaves? Leaves the employment in the town hall, yep. What do we have? Four access doors outside. Uh, anyway. One, two, three. You count the one down the cell. That's mm -hmm. four. Yeah. But I think the only time about the keypad on the door that we come in, because that's where the keys, you know, that's where the keys are for. But they need they the need to secure to those offices. The exterior locks were just changed. Those are the ones. Ago. There was quite those a lot of resistance ones. to that. There was quite a bit of resistance to yes, changing the locks. Yes, there was. Because we spent the money and. But see, that's how this alleged person got in, because she still had her keys and she came in through the door. Why would somebody fight the idea of changing locks? Well, why would somebody fight the idea of not taking cash? There you go. <laughs> tell her. <laughs> so far, I agree no, with her, but tell her. So far, nobody's told me. Except that it says legal tender on a dollar bill. That's all I've ever that's all I've heard. I, I think if, if, at best, if the selectman can at least get Mo I mean, most of the people that bring in checks, money orders, bank checks. I mean, I'd like to see no cash, but you know, is it? Is it I haven't got a clear answer. Is it legal? Is it not legal? I couldn't get a clear answer. The state is instituting a non, -ca a no cash policy on the Massachusetts Turnpike. There you go. 
If it's no cash there. No cash. So then it's what? Send you a bill? Mm -hmm. yeah. So they're going to they're gonna make you do easy pay no matter what, huh? No, no. what no, they do is they, just, they just like send you, they take they'll a picture you of your, your license plate and send you a bill. They do it in New York, I think. Yeah, and in New they, York, they, they yeah, a lot of places and, and all these things will be brought up at that meeting, I'm sure. And there are more, there's more than one town in the state of Massachusetts that doesn't take cash. I just know that in this town, it's a SIF and the money is being mishandled grossly. You know, the bat, you know. All the patents. So I don't know why. That's why I asked Bob. I'm not being fresh. I, mean, I don't understand why a department wouldn't want to keep their revenue. Well, it's more work counting all that money and yeah. filing it. And well, I guess we all felt that some people. That's the only way they could pay. You know? But where I do they get? I mean, way. they get their check and they go to the bank and they, they cash in to get the cash. Or they get direct the deposit. Checks, my, well, I get. I probably say check. If they get now, direct so. deposit, yeah, they're so. still at the bank. Right. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the federal government does not pay anybody. That's right. In cash. I mean, I don't get an envelope uh, when I get my income tax return with big fat wad of singles yeah. in it. <laughs> <laughs> they tell I me I made a deposit. They don't even send a check. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. Like you cannot be paid. You can't. Uh, anyway, if I think you can get a capital plan. Uh, no, I don't yeah. get a check. It's auto deposited. I didn't bring enough copies for everybody. I want to call so I yeah. sent them out to the via email to those that have it. Um, did I get that? Well, let me just uh, explain to. Let me just That's explain what they. Was it part of this? No, wait. Let's finish up with the lock thing. Okay. Yeah, Harry the made the motion. Yeah. Who's seconding? What was the motion? To, yeah. to change locks. all internal locks on office doors when an employee leaves town employment. Promptly, within 24 hours. I'll be honest with you, we're a fiscal. You want to put a that's you want to put a time frame yeah, on that's, that's, yeah, that's right. on that's on the that's interior. We're making interior this. locks. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's fiscal. It would be well, they're the instituting the no cash oh, policy. So. Nothing about the exterior. Well, exterior they are working on that. is working on being a keypad anyway, they're so working. they'll have a swipe card, <laughs> which will be, out. which will be, you know, unusable. Well, you know what? They're I, done. They were kind of on the. Why don't you put the keypad on the outside? They were on the fence because they were going to talk about just getting the camera, not changing it over because we just spent all that money on keys. I, that's what I, I mean. I would like. I would to put that in there too. Keypad on the exterior. Can we just pass over this until yeah, they do something, until they just and then we can what? make a recommendation based nothing, on what they decide. Then still if they do nothing, then we'll. No, then I, we'll I, think we should, I think we should. Do, I think we should make a recommendation make because because this is for internal. So, no. We make a recommendation that they increase security measures. There we go. Appropriate to the well, situation. Well, they, they discussed that Wednesday. report to us what it's going to be. They discussed that Wednesday, and they're basically just talking about a camera. And I mean, I, I I see no nothing wrong in saying we right. suggest this. We're, you do what you, they're going to do what they want. Right. But this is a suggestion. I'm just thinking in the interest That's of time. Right. Yeah, I mean, we have this is just we're, at, we're at we're at the end of, of this discussion. So. So it's just changing internal locks when a person leaves. Perfect. When an when okay. an employment when okay. someone leaves their employment in the town hall. Yeah. Exterior, when someone yeah. leaves internal internal, internal and, locks and, and I, right now i think they and should we're do we're going to add on to it that we recommend the external locks be keypads no keypads no. all change they're already working on that yeah but then the the discussion wednesday from what i gathered was they just want to basically put a camera because they spent okay. money so a sec separate recommendation would be for it would be oh no oh, it could be included be. in that all right to um, change the keys or key a keypad key 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 exterior. It's, it's just a suggestion. I mean, they're going to do whatever. That's all we're here for. Oh, well, I just want the check for paper. The handicap door is open like this. I left it open. We have to have that door open for it to be a legal meeting. Okay. If you Did you get that way? No, to change to all. I got the internal oh, lock. Be changed when an employee leaves town employment and exterior door and should exterior either, should have the keys changed the same thing when someone leaves or to a keypad. What's this for the 2014? It means or it's also changed. Oh, it's already done. Yeah, unless it is a key I'm tag. Okay. Yeah, then they'll change the codes. But that's how the alleged person got back in two weeks because she still had the keys. Some of them may already have been done by the highway. 
Well, it says exterior doors also so change unless it's a keypad. Right away. Absolutely. Right away. All right. So that's your. Um, that's under your. It's right. Okay. So the second. Part of the recommendation. No. Who's the second? Oh. Okay. A second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Sue, you're on board with us? Of course you care. <laughs> no, I really don't care. Okay, Sue's on board too. I don't care. She's abstaining. Put it down for an eh. So is that an eh? Put me down for an eh. <laughs> Sue B says eh. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Okay. okay. I, I, I also recommend... Okay, we're going to talk <laughs> about the capital plan. Correct. Capital improvement plan. Capital, yeah, capital plan improvement plan. Where the, which, which the committee is defunct now, but they did a lot of work. I was on it. You were on it, Barbara, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so a lot of work was done, and we don't want that to go to the wayside. And what a capital plan is, it's um, anything over 5,000 and anything that's going to last more than four or five years. They say five years, but it's more of a benchmark. Um, so that's what we want to discuss. Beth, you want to um, a few things up. Well, I'll bring a few things up. Um, there was two copies that I that I, I gave you because they sent me two files without a lot of explanation about about what was going on. And David, I know you met with Kermit, so you yeah. probably have some more information about some of this. Um, just so we know where we're going with money. Right. So, and, and just to refresh everybody's memory, we moved a, a whole lot of money into stabilization. Um, it took us up over, I think, eight and a half percent. <laughs> of our operating budget so there's about a hundred and there was like a hundred and seventy two thousand dollars dollars okay that we should spend because we have the money and it would bring us down to a seven percent stabilization stabilization which is kind of the sweet I spot don't see about, I don't like that spending word okay. I don't like that well, at all it, and we're about seven percent now with that money no, no, we're eight, eight, eight and a half percent. Is it eight and a half? Eight yeah. And a half. Yeah. So that's that's a good seven to eight is a good good middle of the road. It's really eight is not middle of the road. Eight is upper high. Seven yeah. is high. Okay. So I, I, I five, think it's five is required. Seven is five is pretty low. Five is but five is, five is what's what required. State law five is yeah right is required. Okay. Um, and if you take a look at. Um, so one of the things that the Capital Improvement Planning Committee didn't do when they when they reconciled this was um, actually put in what got voted at town meeting. So actually, fleet repair and replacement account it was what, sixty thousand dollars. Yes, that, that was for the voted. hopefully for the two new cruisers. Okay. So the question is: is ha has this board of and first of all has the board of selectmen acted on the two new cruisers where that was the intent of those funds? When it, it was put in there, if you remember, if we need, where, if and when we need the police cruisers, the money will be there. Correct. So that's okay. up to the department head. Okay. Has anyone notified Chief Blanchard to tell him that the funds are there? Because I know he wanted to replace that SUV like immediately because it stranded his guys a couple of times. And He's I don't. He's going to try to make it go to another towards the end of this year, maybe into next year, is what he said. Remember, we had that problem. He's trying to see if that problem is going to. Work That's not out. what I walked away from that meeting with. I walked no. away from that meeting with that the chief felt that that was a safety and security no. hazard for his people. The meeting that we had with him here? Or did you have a separate meeting with no, him? No, what we had here was the problem of starting the vehicle. Correct. He said he was working on it with it through the car company. It's the last. But he did want, he expressed. Oh, he's been, right, he right. Wants he's been to wanting replace one for two years. That's correct. So we have $60,000 in the fleet. And he account. knows it's there. Okay. So yeah. it's up to him to decide if he needs it, okay. not us. We have sixty thousand dollars in the fleet account. That's right. And we have an excess of one hundred and seventy-two thousand dollars in the stabilization account. Well, I, could, I mean, you can say that, Sue, but I mean, I'm not saying it's extra money in the stabilization. Definitely not. Well, the other issue that nobody's addressing is that we have an unfunded retirement account. Right. Un. Funding. That is that's that, that is very true. So to s keep money in a, in a stabilization account when we have no investment plan, we're making no money off of this money. 
So it's just, it's like putting it in the mattress to make us feel better. Right. But now you're losing basically. Well, it's going to help us with our bond rating at some point. Not if you don't have an investment policy. No, no, it doesn't. Okay, it doesn't. It's yeah. just like keeping it in the mattress. Okay. So, so it's just like keeping it in the mattress doesn't help your credit rating. Okay. That's right. Do we know how much <laughs> right. so, uh, is unfunded? So that the how first, the first, the so first thing we have to do is actually pay somebody to figure out what what our what obligation is. is. Okay. And I, I, I it's back to the treasurer. Well. So here's the, th here's the deal. It can be done internally. We're a small enough community that legally we could do it internally. But our treasurer and our accountant, neither one of them is getting their current activities done. So I don't think adding... Is that the because they're doing it at home? Well, I, it's because they're not doing it at home. Oh, okay. And no one's holding them accountable oh. for any of the work that they would turn in if they were okay. working at home. All right. I, I'll argue um, that there are days that I've walked in this town hall that that the that that individuals spend more time outside the building than inside the building. Say, yeah, supposedly here. Yeah, you can say that about anyone that okay. works here, okay. or any other, or company. any other company. Right. Okay. So, regardless of where they're doing it, it's not getting done right now. Okay. Um, that I will agree with. Okay. That I will agree with. So, so we so don't know what we, we have. So to we pay don't into. know what we have to pay into. So I think the first step would be to take. And this is just a ballpark figure, but it's it's. I think we should put a warrant article on the special town mm -hmm. meeting in the fall, and we'll come up with a number between now and then of how much it's going to cost to bring in someone in to do the actuarial work to mm -hmm. figure out what our post-employment benefit obligation is. Okay, so I don't know what that number is. It's probably <coughs> only to figure it out. It's probably only about. I, my guess would be somewhere between two and three thousand dollars to do the actuarial work, but it may not even be that much. But it's not currently in the budget to do it. To okay. Figure out our post-employment obligations. obligations. Okay. I don't see why we can't take it. since it is since it would only be because I don't. I have no idea what actuaries charge. Mm -hmm. But if it would be two to three thousand dollars, we have sixteen thousand dollars that we didn't pay for our audit. That's correct. So why can't we transfer those funds into getting an actuary to tell us where there we're at go. with our, our post employment funds? For all we know, Make we owe one hundred and seventy five thousand dollars already. Right. So to say that we have a cushion or that we have money that we should leave and save for a rainy day, we don't know. It could already be pouring. Because well, let's, let's our find employees out. Let's find are out entering then. retirement. Let's find out before we, we, before we But go. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Let's take that to well, a Well, that, could that be included in the auditor's report? So, no. Well, no. It, couldn't, it couldn't be included. That's a separate, it couldn't, but... It couldn't be included in an auditor's report, but actually the same type of firm that would come in and do cash reconciliation right. could also do that actuarial I mean, work. Yeah, it's different being it an actuary. Right. That's what I'm trying to say. It, it was different, but we can do it at the same it, time. It could be added into the scope of work for, right. the, same, for the same entity that came in to help with the cash and reconciliation. And we could use the $16,000. Okay, so there you go. There's that a good solution. That. Hmm? that would come both, because we yes. need a motion report. I would think so. Yes. Yeah. I think we should just add the actuary, the actuarial work in there. to the statement of work for the for the uh, third party. For that original motion, yes. Or make a new motion. Because how many years has well, this law been on the book? You want to make the other motion? I'm going to I'm going to make a make a make a motion to ensure that the statement of work for the cash reconciliation includes our our obligations for post employment benefits. Yes. So I'll just amend that motion. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Who wants it? You said it. Motion to. So I made the motion. So recommend. Just, hold on a second. Re recommend to re amend. No, 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 to, no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not amending anything. Okay. I'm actually. You just want to I, add I, that I, on I, to I, that I, first I'm motion. Make, I'm making a motion that when the statement of work is sent out for so, to get an, a, a third party firm to do the, the cash the reconciliation, yep. that that statement of work include um, our post employment uh, benefit obligation calculation. And that way we can get that number and know how much money we actually have potentially to address some of the because this law issue. It's a law that we're supposed to fund this account, and it's been in existence for at least five years. Okay. And we have nothing. Get, so if you just tagging on to that. When first statement month. of work Actual is sent up for reconciliation, yeah, that it include actuarial calculation. Okay. 
Actuarial. Post employment. My friend, Vicky, post employment benefits. Right. But they live in New Jersey. I just say I just say things differently. So, okay. lawyer, we're on the same page. We are actually. <laughs> well, well, let's get him in. Lives in Maryland. So, oh, so we're gonna make a. So we're gonna take a vote on that. So that's the motion. Anybody want to second, second that? Sixteen thousand. Fly him up. Second. <laughs> All right. All in favor? Do you know what we're voting? Get fast. Just take the money and drive. Harry, <laughs> we're voting on this. Yes. Father, we're voting yes. on this. Are yep. you on board? Yeah. Well. Anyone opposed to it? All nope. in favor? I'm in favor too. Aye. Okay. Okay. So, have you had a chance to review what? Only some of it. The capital improvement. I, I remember a lot of it. They've got some of this money is going to be allocated for the bridge down on uh, Mill, uh, not Mill Street, um, Lake Road. Okay. So, first which we also voted to have money for that bridge as well. I don't believe we have. Yeah. Oh, Not the us. sawmill dam one. Mm. No, okay. the one on Lake Road. That's it. Oh, is that what you, I, yeah, I, I, call, I call it Lake Road. Okay. okay. So, because one of the things that, that's that just money, one of the, one, one, of, one, of the things, one of the things that money could be used towards would be paying down the size of the money borrowed to do that project. Um, and it would lower, you know, future, future interest costs to the town. So that's it's one of the things that some of that money could could go to apply to, so that we didn't incur some additional debt. So who's negotiating loans? The treasurer. She did go out for some short-term notes with the assistance of the. Well, I know on the, on the I know on the. Uh, it's funny though. Everybody addresses that bridge project by a different. different name and nobody knows what anybody's talking about. Well, because I, I, was always, say. I always called it... Uh, I know the police, the it's police Mill Pond, they're, they're doing that Dam. internally. It is Mill Pond, isn't it? Mill Pond, yeah. I don't know who's doing the bridge. I know the police, the police building is, they're doing it. One of the members Yeah, because the, the, they're doing a, one of the... You got that bridge on 148 and then you have the Mill, Mill Pond Dam. I don't know of any other bridges in town. Well, that's it. Okay. It's a dam bridge type right, thing. Right, There's only two. We have a few. Do you know what? Well, they got one up behind Elm Hill. I don't know what they're going to drain that. One or of not. the former selectmen told me years ago when I was on Conservation Commission that when Brookfield and East Brookfield split, they tried to put as many bridges as they could in East, East Brookfield, Brookfield so they wouldn't have to maintain them. It was brilliant. Smart move. It was brilliant. So. Hence North. So, but if you go to the if you go to the second if you go to the second page in the capital plan, so the things that have already been voted included the replacement, presuming that the monies are spent that way. The town meeting has already voted the monies into the fleet replacement account for, in the police department. Two cruisers, the, right. The 2007 Ford Explorer and the 2005 Crown Victoria. <laughs> we also voted for the cardiac monitor. That's why the expenses had gone up so much on the mm -hmm. uh, paramedic. In the fire department budget, yep. Okay. Um, and I don't believe anything else on here has been addressed as yet. Okay, and we did just get a communication from the fire chief, I think today, it came from the Board of Selectmen's office, regarding Forestry 2, that it's got some repairs that, uh, in the opinion of the fire chief, it needs to be taken off the road instead of repaired because it's not really cost effective to repair, but I think we need that backup information in order to Can we just make any type vote of money for that? We voted money for that. For the forestry too? No. One of them I thought we did. Mm -hmm. No. Now did he get nothing, a, did nothing he, was voted for any other vehicles. Oh he, I know what no he took it he took it back off, mm -hmm. okay. Before we did the budget, that's what it was. But he did he was gonna go for it. Okay. He was. Yeah. That's why that's it's in my mind still. Now did he go and did get an estimate? For the repairs, I mean, how does he I, know? I asked that question. I haven't gotten a response. Okay, because you know, with all due respect, he's not a mechanic. No, no and you know, when he brings it to the board, then we can discuss um, it. There should be some kind supporting of policy department. and required supporting documents, and it shouldn't just be, you know, the guy down the I street. Think, yeah, mm -hmm. there should be like a couple of opinions. It's similar to doing like a three bid policy for something right. or So when he brings it to the board, then we can. Right. Well, he, he, he brought it to the Board of Selectmen, Board of Selectmen's office forwarded it to us, I guess, as an FYI, the request. Yeah. 
Okay. Now, I, I think we would be smart to send back a formal communication saying in order to consider this, we need three quotes regarding the repairs and also, you know, a clear quote on what the replacement is. I think given be. our location, three quotes might be difficult, but two would two. certainly be okay, feasible so and quotes. pretty easy. And then um, I think quotes on cost of replacement. Right. Because to exactly. just say, well, that's the, replaced. He's definitely going to do that. So us. two quotes on repair and cost of replacement. Mm -hmm. yep. I mean, is that included in the in the CIPC? What the uh, estimated cost of replacement? Forty three in it. Thing, so yeah. we already have an estimate. Which cost was grammatically cost. correct, however. Well, you could can take that confused. off. Confused. We already have yeah. an estimated yeah. cost Say of that replacement. Again. What you wrote is grammatically correct, but it could be confused. They could take that to mean one quote for one and one quote for the other. For repairs or so no? say two right. two quotes for each one. Yeah, but to, we already okay. have an estimate. Yeah, and, and they I mean, put they put an okay. estimate. What you cost what you said is what you mean, but. So you yeah, already misunderstood. Got two quotes needed on repair, cost of repair. Yeah, and, and two quotes for new. Well, 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 we actually already, would buy, they, they usually buy it through. Yeah. Yeah. They, they usually buy that through the state estimate. program. Yeah. So, so, still so, no. you, so you won't get two. You won't get two <coughs> quotes because if we're buying through the state, right? Then Unless then that's a set fee. Generally speaking. I just wanted to have an idea. Unless you get what it's going to cost. That's already in the capital improvement plan. And they've already estimated the cost to be forty forty thousand dollars. Well, the biggest thing right now is the two new cruisers, and we got money for that. And then the but the two does, new cruisers, does the chief know that he can spend? He know he was there. He was at the meeting. Okay. We had a big discussion on it. Oh, he's he's well reversed on it. Our but meeting with that, the chief? If, no, town meeting. Remember, we had that we had that discussion. If that's the case, and then. our meeting too. So, and our meeting too. If that's the case, then, and he wants to replace it. Why hasn't he replaced it if he knows the money is available? Because he's trying to to get prolong it. Because he's encouraging him to prolong it. He's trying to prolong it the best he can. Who's who's encouraging him to prolong it? I think it's a public safety issue myself. But I mean that's I a. Think, but he knows. He, just, he knows. But then one of the cruises was uh, one of the cars was supposed to be transferred over to the. That's fire department and that's then the, the fire and then the fire chief thought that he shouldn't do that. He should have been. I don't know, there was some big discussion about Well, the that SUV doesn't start all the time. Right. But that can be fixed. They, they are working on that the last I talked to him. But that's just the issue. They were working on that when we talked to him in Well, we February. don't know if it's fixed yet. We don't know if it's fixed. I haven't talked to him. So I'll talk to him tomorrow and ask him. But he's he knows the money is sitting there because when we were here at this meeting doing budget, so we okay. gave the him other more thing money. I would like, yeah, okay, I, I've got it too. Um, the other thing I'd like is a report from the accountant or the treasurer, whoever is responsible for that, for unpaid bills from the last fiscal year. How many outstanding bills do we have from the last fiscal year? We're almost in September. I was going to say. Did you get your check? No. I didn't either. But I did see it, I did see it being worked on. It's mm. so a lot of work to write a check, huh? And. It, it is an immediate goes back to but is the work being done? But the work's not getting done. Here. It. So it like goes back to that on, again. So on what well, that's we pretty, have pretty great. It's a pretty great area of what you're saying. Bills of it's last a matter of supervision. Year. So that's 2014. Okay. And who's who's supervising? Good question. Well, well, Mr. Comfort <laughs> says that he's just like having a town administrator. Okay, so you want to check and see what bills... I want to know from. what bills are outstanding from 2014 uh -huh. and the reason for it. Because it, were the bills not submitted in time? Which you know yours was. That's really not good to not cut a check to somebody on the advisory committee. <laughs> Come on now. If you're going to do more, it's a great area. It's a great area. It's 
it's gray area. Oh, that's not gray. That's pretty black and white. Let's so not cut a check to the advisory for the end that, of August. They just flunked an intelligence test. <laughs> yeah, that's like one of those Facebook intelligence tests, and you just did not and pass. And it is a bill from fiscal 2014. All right, I got that down. So, no, 2014. So, Oh, are you going to ask, uh, or I am? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Unpaid bills from. Two, I think that question needs to be asked to the board of selectmen also. Yeah. So you're going to ask who the treasurer or the accountant? The or who accountant, does that? Accountant, and then we're going to ask. You want to ask the selectmen? We can do that too. I think we asked the selectmen to find out. From For us. I was going to say, think, why don't you start uh, there? And I think that's the proper way of doing it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you will ask the board of selectmen. So if our books aren't closed for 2014, count it. <laughs> and it's nearly September. Why? It's almost September. So pretty much we're saying we want to. My fiscal year get ended on done. June 30th. My last bill went in on June 29th. My fiscal year never ends. And if the <laughs> bill was not submitted in time, oh well. You should have been. The last vendors, just the last vendors check it should have come out. Two, but still two. in August. Oh, I understand that. So, I'm not a major vendor. Uh, do we have major vendors who aren't being paid? And now we're incurring fees? Yeah. Yeah. So, we don't have time to report. Is that true, Barbara? Are we getting fees from the school department? You're on that school committee. Is that true? Mm -hmm. Are we what getting fees? What? Are we getting late fees? We are getting late fees. We're getting late fees for what? For which? Account. Fenders. Fenders. Which ones? Fenders. Do you know? Well, off the top of my head. Okay. Is it all the time or just periodically? No. Periodically, but it comes comes through. I don't know. So. All right, how many, do we want to continue just having one meeting? What? I, I got the copies of the warrant, so I'll show you. Okay. Well, uh, well, where are they? Let's look at them. You got them? Home. Oh. Bring it to the next Which, meeting. And I think to David's point, he well, wants they to also, they, they, they also have them in Frickman's office because I signed them when I went through there. Which uh, warrant are the you referring to? The Frickman has to sign Look, I David has the warrants. Yeah. I have some of the warrants, yes. Which one are you referring to if I can uh, find you, them? You haven't got... You don't have the vouchers. You just have what has been paid out. And it only shows up on the vouchers. I got six thirty. What shows up on the vouchers? Late fees. The late fees. Okay. Yeah, you have about six thirty. Two. Which one are you? We. Uh, but as you go down through there, I can see if it's vendors you or You haven't got a voucher. No, this is. Uh, oh, yeah, it's, it's 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 national. Yeah, which one are you looking for? Which, uh, I don't know off the top of my head. That's right. There's, there's so many of them that I, I know. Do which one? I which one are you looking for? Of my head. Is there a motion on the floor for anything? No. Well, we did the we request from the, the water school one because I have to. This is the well. Dave said Dave's going to ask, so that was, a motion wasn't made. Yeah. I want to know. It's it, they're in the selectmen's office. Query to the board of selectmen. Yeah. So. Because they've all been signed. And, and How about eight? I got eight they're, eleven. They're all, eight? they're all in. in the, you've you got to have the vouchers. To see it. It's not on there. No. Okay. Yeah. You've got to have it. You've got to have the vouchers. Okay. So, so you want them? <clears throat> you want them to make a motion to. Request. I want to rec I, I want it. I want a query to the board of selectmen mm -hmm. on how many outstanding bills we have from fiscal 2014, mm -hmm. and a reason why. Mm -hmm. I'll second that. Call in favor. Mm -hmm. Any opposed? I'm in favor too. And as part of that report, it should also include how many, how much we've incurred in late fees. Because of that. You want that part of the motion, so? Yes, please. Um, okay, do we want to continue meeting once a month or twice a month? I mean, I think once Well, a month. I would like our next meeting to be with the Board of Selectmen. Okay. I don't see why we're not meeting with the Board of Selectmen. We're going to have a host of questions for them? It's not even a host of questions. Well, we we should have, have to. The, the we should have some. Need to Did happen. they ever appoint a representative to this board? 
they used to be a selectman that was a representative. No, I think the no, decision I was made, and, and, there no. was a, and they always attended. Yes, but they, I think the decision was made that that was unnecessary to have to split it up like that. Because <coughs> Okay, well, we're going to have them come to the board. So the school we're supposed to have a we want to have something to discuss, like discuss with them there. for having them here. What do I want to discuss with them? Yes, I mean, oh, we sure. Well, you want me? I'll do the agenda right now. No, I just want. No, I'm just asking you. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay, just asking you. Yep. So when I when we when yep. I approach them, we can I can have something. I want to discuss the status of where we are with the. Um, report from the Division of Land Services okay. that was being worked on. I want a report on where we're at with fiscal 14. Yeah, good job. Yeah. Where we're at with late fees. Security, with that, I went through that, yeah. Oh, yeah, security, let me say that. I think that's, that's important, yeah. I think it's important, but I think it's on a well, we're put it line in there. with us. But anyway, that's just my opinion. Want to know? Well, it's um, going to cost money to implement security. Yeah. If, if, if cash is getting stolen, that's that concerns <laughs> us saying. very much. So, um, right. And so, okay. What the what the plan is going to be for the cash reconciliation to get that caught mm -hmm. up once and for all, and what policies are going to be put into place in to order to sustain there. it? Right. Keep them caught up. Okay. Repeat that part again. Okay, what, what action is going to be taken to, to catch up the cash reconciliation and then what policies, procedures, and oversight they're going to put into place to maintain it once it's actually caught up? And when we are going to start paying attention to Mass General Law that says that this committee is supposed to be receiving regular and open reports on the finances of this town. And we're going to discuss tax titles when we're going to get back because on getting rid of these dead properties in town. Because right. what we but that would be part of the reason. regular report, right? Right. Okay. But and, I want and, to highlight that. In, right. And, 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 and someone, someone, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't we specifically ask for the monthly variance report to be to us each month prior to our meeting? Mm -hmm. And we specifically made this meeting the second week in August. To, to give her plenty of time. sufficient time for the monthly variance report to come out. Now I don't know if that got communicated directly to the selectmen or not, but we should be <coughs> receiving that prior to the fifteenth every month, and it is the fifteenth of the month. It's fifteenth of the month, yeah. Did you get one? I thought you got something. I, I got something. I don't know if I brought it. <coughs> so shame on me if I didn't bring it. Committee is supposed to receive Plus. reports regularly on what? On the finance, on, financial on status. Monthly reports on the finances. Right. So from the tax collector, it would be the tax revenues collected for the prior month and what was outstanding. From the treasurer, it would be um, things like the right. status on the tax title. Um, I, I, you know, we'd even have to do probably, you know, um, a little research as to, you know, what level of reporting is appropriate from the treasurer. But now I'm hearing that the late fees are being buried in the warrant. Yeah. Right, Barbara? Right the only way you can see if there's a late fee is if you actually see the voucher itself? Well, that's the way it is when I see the ones from the school anyway. The ones that come up in the warrant act what comes up on the voucher. Yeah. Yeah. So it's hard but for us to, 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 decipher it, to have right. any idea of what's really going yeah. on. you got to see the voucher. And I'm not going to walk into this presuming that people aren't doing their job or anything like that. I just want to know. I mean, because uh, if, if Sharon asks me where we're at with fiscal 14, I'm going to say I have no idea. Because I don't. But the treasurer should I don't should think anybody. Have all those, uh, I should, 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 should. Well, I know they have the ones in the school. All and I hear is should. And no. They should. <coughs> they should. Everybody should. Be nice. Everybody should do their job. Do their job. You took that out of my mouth, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? All right. Break so we want to meet. Meeting. Do we want to meet twice a month, or continue once a month? Well, let's just. And let's you want to meet when we're meeting with the selectmen? Because really, if we're not meeting for anything, I'm not meeting. Oh, we're not going to. No, we're not going to come we're in and talk nothing. We're just meeting to talk. Done. Well, wait, I don't think we've done that. So. That's not going to happen here, so. Oh, so far, we've so far, that has requested not things. Where's the monthly report? 
tonight, but we've made a lot of recommendations tonight. We, so. We've made a lot of recommendations, we've done a lot of, but that's just, that's this. Well, that's what we do here. We well, recommend. We need to change that. We, need we to recommend, change. and that's why, we're gonna, that's why we're going to push this to the selectmen to go to the next step. We can only do our step first, and then they have to do their step, and then we'll see where they go with that. And then we'll have to do another step if we have to. Which would be what? We push it to the selectmen. And if they we don't, wait. If they don't act. And if they don't then act, then I go to them again and find out. And if they don't do that, and some of these things, I'll push to get on, on uh, town floor. Certain things. We can do that with a signature of 10 people. If we have to go Meeting that route. To, at a meeting? At a meeting. I, I, yeah. I'll, I'll tell you right now, we had to put a financial policy and procedure book together, as, you know, extra governmental, you know, and, and bring it to town floor. That's going to get ugly, but it's possible. Mm -hmm. Well, if you just ask me how, if we push comes to shove, that's just one alternative we can do, Harry. So, Harry, from what I'm hearing, this has been a, a town run by feel-good policies. Well, they'll take care of it. They'll, they're, they're doing their job without any oversight. Without pretty and much. If money disappears, somebody's not doing their job. Somebody well, already, that's already been established. As awful we've as I think that is, that. I just think that that's a symptom of a deeper problem. There is no, there are no regulations or policies in this town. There is no clear-cut manual for the employees. Which There's goes, nothing. which goes along exactly. with everybody's okay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yep, you're exactly right. <clears throat> it's not a, it's not a simple solution. It's, it, can, it concerns a lot of issues. So, when do the selectmen meet next? That's what I was looking up right now. This coming Tuesday. This Tuesday? Yeah. This Tuesday stinks for me. So next, they the it. next one after that is September 2nd for the Board of Selectmen, unless we want to invite them to one of our meetings and set it sometime. I say make, invite them to us. Okay. So do we want to set a meeting for... Well, so we'd be setting a meeting for next week. So we haven't even given them the recommendations yet. We're setting no, 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 Got to give them some kind of notice. Oh, no, know. yeah, actually it would be, wouldn't it? Do you see what I mean? Yeah, I see what you're saying. And um, isn't, okay, I was going to say Labor Day weekend, but that doesn't matter. That's on a Monday. Right. So let's ask them for a joint meeting on the 9th. Well, that's the elementary school committee. You couldn't be there. Well. Does it have to be on a Tuesday? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. yeah. We could do. Uh, it doesn't have to be on a Tuesday, no. Yeah. Let's do it the very next day. What's wrong with the 10th? That's a Wednesday. That's right. fine. Yep, and it looks like the only thing that meets on the 10th is the water commissioners at 6 30. So and that's. So. What time do you get done with those meetings? Yeah, how, could, how, how long do those run? <coughs> Sometimes. An hour? Roughly about an hour. Okay. 6.30 okay. we start. No, we start, yeah, so. Do you think your committee would be willing to start at 6 so that you were done at 7? No, I don't think or we should ask leave, them for that. Well, oh, okay. you could either leave that meeting early or join us late. Right. On the 10th? September? 10th, yeah, I'm, I'm good with that. Or you could just I'll... leave the door open. There you go. Or you could just leave the door open. <clears throat> and you could be both places. <laughs> as long as you show up, Bob. The other option would be the. As long as you show up, right, even if you're late. Hmm? Okay, so back to my question again. We want to have one meeting a month or two. If it's feasible. It kind of depends right. on I, what comes up. Right. right. I think it depends on the work. To do. Okay. I think it depends on the work. I, so think one of the, I, think, I think one of the things that needs to be on the agenda between us and the Board of Selectmen, even though clearly we've committed to doing the budget is um, what's the overall 
What's the, what's the overall, what's the, what's the goal with the budget this coming year? Yeah. Well. And then we can discuss these other situations first before we jump too far down the road. We can put it way down. If we don't get to it, we don't get to it. I, I don't think there's a whole lot of value in having additional meetings if our advice isn't being taken. That's my point exactly. But we don't know but that if, yet. That's true. We could, but if, if, if we get response from the select, select board members, then when we could then double up our meetings to make get, to get, it get into the books more and really pick it apart. But until that happens, it makes no sense to. Otherwise, as you said, we're just sitting here flapping our gums. But a lot. Of I didn't say no. We're not doing that. I said, said that. that. I didn't say that. I said that. I t totally disagreed with that. Well, <clears throat> if our recommendations are not acted on, they're useless. Okay, but you, we we got to give them the recommendations first before we can answer that question. So let's see where they but go. But I'm not going to meet twice a month. No, no, no. I'm just, just to I'm hang just around and, and give recommendations right. that are going to a uh, stone wall. But we got to make, you know, we still, as yes. a board, that's what we do here. I, I think I think one of the other things I would like added to the agenda with the Board of Selectmen is besides their activities regarding the Department of Local Services audit is also what has been done about the list of action items from the 2009 and 2011 management letters that I mm -hmm. sent out to everybody. 2009? 2009, 2011. Those are the last two audits management letters that we received that I'm aware of at least um, and there's a, a laundry list of how many action items is it? it's pretty much the it's almost identical very similar to what we got from DLS. Yeah, so it's like, I, I haven't I haven't reconciled it to DLS yet. And, that, that, the and that, that's the that's that's the frustration. If you keep getting the same recommendation Patience. over and over and you keep going, yeah. nah I like it this way. But now but this this time it's our board and we're gonna see where it goes. Um, now, when you're talking about the Division of Land Services, local, local services. services from the Department of Revenue. Well, there's that, but in the beginning we were talking about, you, you mentioned something about the Division of Land Services. No, it's local services. Okay. DLS is Division of Local Services. It's okay. a branch of the Department of Revenue. Okay. Yeah, because it's like thirty. So from those two ma from the two management letters, it's like thirty-eight different action items that were recommended, and I'd have to go back through the two thousand thirteen, I think, feedback from DLS and see how many of them are duplicates. Um, and there's maybe three that have been acted on out of the thirty-eight. Thirteen. There you go. About seven percent. Okay. So the letter is supposed to be sent asking for a meeting with them. With the recommendations. With the list of recommendations. The, 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 recommendations. the recommendations and the request for a meeting to discuss those topics. Okay. And we are inviting them to our meeting. And that gives them some time to work on it. Mm -hmm. Can we tell them donuts will be here? So Let's we either need to vote to extend this meeting, which I really no. will vote against, or we need to. I don't think we need to. Journey. I don't think we need to go beyond no, that. I think we're done. <clears throat> so who's making the motion to adjourn? I'm making the motion to adjourn. <laughs> second, I'm second it. Bobby, go. Come on, Bobby. All in favor? Aye. No one's opposing. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I'll take that.